Pharrell Williams has given us some of the best songs of the 2000s, including Happy and Frontin'. He also successfully crossed over into the world of fashion. Pharrell has been dressing up in women's wear brand Chanel for years and was even crowned one of the brand's celebrity ambassadors. In 2019, he launched a capsule collection with the French Fashion House. In an interview with Page Six, the Grammy Award-winning entertainer revealed he had no issue with wearing women's clothing because he believed there were things about women that could be utilized for a man's energy. But in fact, there's only one woman who has Pharrell's full attention, and her name is Helen Lasachan. She travels with him to his shows and can be seen standing next to him on the red carpet, all decked out in the finest designer pieces. Not much is known about this very important person in Pharrell's life. According to the New York Post, Pharrell won't confirm the proper pronunciation of her last name or her ethnicity. But we were able to gather up some info about their love story and this mysterious woman who captured his heart. In the early 90s, Pharrell and his friend Chad Hugo formed the Neptunes. They helped launch the careers of several artists, including singer Khalees. According to MTV, Khalees met Pharrell in 1996 when she was just 16 years old. After an impromptu audition for the Neptunes, they brought her under their wing. With their support, she got signed to Virgin Records. And in 2002, after the Neptunes formed Star Trek Entertainment, Khalees became the first artist signed to their label. Madame Noir website reports there were rumors that Pharrell and Khalees had a fling while working together. It's alleged that their romance ended sometime during the production of Khalees' 2003 album, Tasty. This was also around the time Pharrell began dating video director and DJ Vashti Kola. Vashti told the Comeback Jack show that she met Pharrell through Pusha T. But during their relationship, there were rumors that Pharrell was creeping around with other people, including supermodel Carolina Kurkova. After gossip websites stated Pharrell was spotted kissing Carolina during a party hosted by Donatella Versace, Carolina's then-boyfriend, Alessandro Bazzoni, came to her defense and denied there was anything messy going on. Carolina wasn't the only woman Pharrell was reportedly seeing. According to an online source, he met Jade Jagger, the daughter of Rolling Stone's frontman Mick Jagger, at the 2003 MTV European Music Awards. After a two-year on-again, off-again relationship, Pharrell pulled the plug on their fling. Speaking exclusively to the now-defunct News of the World newspaper, Pharrell reportedly said Jade was one of the most experienced chicks he had ever been with. But apparently, she was a bit too much for him to handle. Pharrell allegedly said Jade was okay for a few nights of fun, but she came on too heavy. He added, she became my shadow. I couldn't move without her. She wouldn't let me breathe. He and Vashti continued on with their relationship as well. And in 2007, an online blog reported she and Pharrell were expecting a baby. But Pharrell shot the rumor down through a statement with TMZ. He announced that not only was it untrue that Vashti was pregnant with his child, but they had broken up after nearly five years of dating. Vashti moved on with another man, and Pharrell moved on too, right back into his life as one of the industry's most eligible bachelors. During an interview with Angie Martinez, he said he threw parties at his house where he would be the only guy in attendance. He and a bunch of women would stay up all night eating special brownies and listening to A Tribe Called Quest until four in the morning. During a trip to Miami, he met a woman named Helen Lasachan. According to the New York Post, Pharrell was so captivated by her, he asked himself, who and what is that? He told Oprah Winfrey that Helen reminded him so much of himself because they were both different and marched to the beat of their own drum. While Pharrell fell for her immediately, it wasn't love at first sight for Helen. According to Pharrell's interview with Oprah, Helen had a boyfriend when they first met, but that didn't stop Pharrell from dreaming about the day they would finally be together. He said, I just knew. I knew at some point something was going to happen. He went on to say he was enamored by her and he wanted to read her like a book, but Helen wasn't having it. Although they exchanged numbers, Pharrell says she ignored half of the text messages he sent at first. 
It really bruised his ego at the time. He thought that because he had so much money, he was entitled to her time and her complete attention. But Helen made it clear over and over that she was in a relationship and that she wasn't interested in him. He eventually settled on just being her friend, and for two and a half years he played his position. As their friendship blossomed, Pharrell fell for her even more. He told Oprah that unlike the rest of the girls who pretended to be different and eccentric, Helen really stood out. According to the New York Post, Helen went to high school and college in Florida. She enrolled at St. Thomas University in Miami, where she was a star volleyball player. Her coach described her as a quiet warrior and added that she's a very intense person who doesn't express herself verbally. But when it came to her friendship with Pharrell, Helen was able to open up and she impressed him every step of the way. Pharrell told Oprah that it was a deal breaker if a girl he liked wasn't a fan of A Tribe Called Quest. So when he found out Helen was a huge fan of the New York rap group, he fell for her even more. He told radio host Andy Martinez that Helen became his bestie. When his other girls were tripping, he would call Helen for advice. This laid the foundation for them to have an open and honest friendship, and he never felt like he had to hide anything from her. Eventually, Helen's relationship came to an end, and Pharrell was ready to go after what he wanted. But he admitted to Oprah that his immaturity almost cost him Helen's love. At the start of their relationship, he said he hurt her a lot because he wasn't entirely ready to let go of being a bachelor. He finally had to take a look at his life and said to himself, man, I could keep doing this for another 10 years. Is that what I want to do? He finally made a decision, and from that day forward, he became a one-woman man. In 2008, Helen gave birth to their son, Rocket. When asked about the meaning behind the name, Pharrell told Oprah they named their son after a man-made machine that was meant to go up, meant to ascend. He explained that he hoped his son was destined for greatness, and he called his child the best song he's ever co-written. According to Rolling Stone, they got engaged July 2012. In an April 2013 interview with Hot 97, Pharrell said he was 100% committed to his relationship and was ready to walk down the aisle. He continued to gush about his relationship in an August 2013 interview with The Today Show. Pharrell said being with Helen was so much fun because they were besties and every night was like a sleepover. Two months later, they got married on a yacht in Miami. Some of Pharrell's famous friends were also in attendance, including Usher and Buster Rhymes, who put on a mini concert during the reception. They continue to remain as low-key as possible, so no one was surprised when in January 2017, Helen gave birth to not one, not two, but three children. According to Vanity Fair, Pharrell's rep declined to provide the triplets names and genders. Months after the birth, he appeared on the Today Show and admitted he never changed any of the triplets' diapers. That was a task he left in Helen's hands. He said there's nothing she can't do. I mean, she carried those three bodies and she's on it all the time. Thankfully, Helen was also receiving some help. Pharrell told Good Morning America their parents helped them out a lot, and they also had a staff of 12 nurses that were in constant rotation around the clock. Perhaps he isn't as hands-on when it comes to his daddy duties, but there's no doubt Pharrell is completely in love and devoted to his family and wife. Toward the end of 2018, he headed out on tour, and Helen joined him as he traveled to performances in Los Angeles, Tokyo, Johannesburg, London, and Miami. He told People Magazine that while they were gone, he really missed his four children. He said, that's the other thing that will tire you out longing takes a lot of energy out of you. Thankfully, his best friend and the love of his life was there to keep him company. Pharrell told the magazine he loves his wife because of everything she is, good, bad, and indifferent. When it comes to what makes their marriage work, the hit producer said it's all about mutual love and respect. He said they share a space in love, and that means he doesn't possess her. He admitted that in the past, he used to claim his women by saying, oh, she's mine. But with Helen, it's the opposite. Pharrell said, she's not mine, but she sure makes me feel like it. 
Let us know your thoughts on Pharrell and Helen's love story. And thanks for watching Real Reality Gossip.